sounds like sort of employee experience was up there at the top of the list. If you're doing these mundane tasks every day and you think, well, I could automate this. Why am I sitting here doing this 20 times a day or 50 times a day? Yeah, absolutely. So in Admiral, one of our key phrases, so to speak, is people who like what they do, do it better. So automation takes off. If they don't like what they're doing, let's automate it. You don't have to do it. As you can imagine, and as you know, through automation, you build backlogs um, and workers prioritize based on value. And there were these small little tasks that people wanted done. So yeah. it, made, it made sense for those people that were passionate about having certain work done to develop their skills and give them the opportunity to build what they wanted doing for them. And I think that's one of the biggest parts of citizen development is that there's no right or wrong thing to automate. If it's important to you, you go ahead and you do it. Um, and that's one of the biggest things to take away from it. Gemma, let's go back to, to, to one of those points. We were talking about the COE versus the citizen-led developers. Um, what type of work do they do sort of differently? What type of automations do they do? Of course, cool. so briefly touching upon the COE, they will complete the bigger business as usual tasks, usually tasks that have higher risk element associated to them. That would stay within COE. The citizen developers, there's no two the same. So some citizen developers will have very basic tasks, um, such as start my day robots, um, some even just to save their email attachments. Um, but then we've got other citizen developers then who wouldn't be able to complete their role without having Studio X. So they would use the robots to update internal websites that our staff use then for information that they would need to relay through to customers from certain departments. So there's a wide, wide variety of tasks being used, um, such as reporting and weekly reports that get saved. So there's a lot. Could you could you share some some benefits that you're seeing across it? Are people coming back going really love it? I know there's different aptitudes, different people want to do it, don't want to do it. Is there is there a general feeling about what type of benefits and, and how would you do you measure them? Do you report them? Do you share them? Yes. So we do look at the benefits of the program. Um, we're still in the early stages of the recording and sharing, but we're now in a process of starting to break that down into areas so we can start sharing them with the users themselves so they can go back to their own departments and show what value they're adding. One of the biggest things that we took away from it is that by putting people into groups from the same area, it was easier for people to take off and run with it because they had somebody that they could collaborate with and work with and lean on. The citizen-led program, it runs alongside their day job. So it's not somebody's full-time role. So it's something that they would pick up maybe when they had a spare couple of hours throughout the week or they were given time to learn the program, which is great. But having those people within the same department meant that they had an opportunity to, like I said, collaborate with each other, bounce ideas off each other, um, and discuss to see what was tedious for them. It sounds like a great way for people to learn from each other because if I've got an automation that somebody else goes, ooh, that would work for me, they can actually start to, to share. And we've now hit that point where the new Studio X users are saying to us, first of all, um, I'd like to build X, Y, and Z. And mm -hmm. we're going back to them saying, wonderful, if you reach out to this person, they've already built it. Yeah, so we can share within the Studio X community, which is great. So we've built our own internal community. I mean, that, that that's amazing to have sort of an army of people, sort of power users attached to different functions and teams. Um, it, it certainly seems to be the way forward in insurance where you're handing those skills out into the business, um, as you say, under the right governance to do that. Um, I mean, it sounds like it's an amazing program. You're going to keep up with the training and the engagement. So um, thank you for joining us today. Um, and and I'm, I, I, we'll, we'll keep in touch with you because we'd love to hear about the next phases too. So thank you, Gemma. Thank you. Thanks for having me.